Hello, this is Phyllis Tarbox with Above and Beyond Christian Counseling. And today I'd like to talk to you about the 12 warning signs that a person is under the influence of a Jezebel spirit. How can you tell if Jezebel is influencing your actions or someone close to you? Well, first, we need to debunk three misconceptions about Jezebel. The first one is, Jezebel is not a spirit that's solely assigned to women. Number two, Jezebel is a territorial principality spirit that does not inhabit a body. In Ephesians 6.12, it ta talks about spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms, and Jezebel is one of those, along with Leviathan, Python, and others. Jezebel directs earthly, first heaven demons to bring damage and destruction to God's people. Three, Jezebel's agenda is more extensive than just ungodly control and manipulation. In her book, Jezebel's Puppets, Jennifer LeClaire describes Jezebel <clears throat> as a wicked spirit that has roamed the earth for thousands of years, seeking someone to entice into sin. Jezebel is more than a spirit of control, she says, and manipulation that many make it out to be. Jezebel is a spirit of seduction that works to woo people into immorality and idolatry. Jezebel will seduce your thoughts through the lust of the flesh to carry out her plan to kill, steal, and destroy. This year, we were invited to speak at the International Society of Deliverance Ministers Conference that was held at the Glory of Zion in Corinth, Texas. One of the speakers was Jennifer LeClaire, and she outlined the warning signs that people operating under the influence of a Jezebel spirit experience. So I'm going to share with you some of her insights because I see many believers in the church, ministry, and work environments that are under attack by demons directed by this wicked force. So here are the 12 warning signs of a Jezebel spirit. Number one, people influenced by a spirit of Jezebel have fear issues of rejection. They control others, so they will not be hurt. And generally, there's a history of trauma or abuse. Number two, they target the headship. They offer free help to be their top assistant because they want their protection. It hides from the leader's view, but it manifests in front of others. Number three, they make commitments and promises very quickly, and they use recommendations from others to impress you. They seem, four, they seem super spiritual in an exaggerated way to gain acceptance and attention. They have their own agenda. They're looking for disciples of their own, and they whine until they get their way. Five, they isolate and they pit people against each other privately and individually behind closed doors. Six, they play the victim. They are never wrong. They blame everyone else and they play on compassion to block discernment. Number seven, they use false humility and feel entitled or owed something. Number eight, they are not accountable to anyone and often accuse others of being a Jezebel. Number nine, they look for those who are hurt and wounded to mentor them. 10, they accuse people falsely. 11, they operate with insecurity. And number 12, they initiate witchcraft prayers based on selfish motivation. If you are under a church or leadership authority where Jezebel is at work, you well may be the target for torment. So how can you tell? LeClaire went on to offer six indicators that we need to consider. So here are the six signs that Jezebel is directing attacks against you. Number one, you become fearful. Two, you isolate yourself more. Three, you experience unreasonable exhaustion. Four, your thoughts and your dreams become sexually perverse. Five, strange and prolonged illnesses hinder you. Six, freak accidents become more commonplace. If this spirit is operating in your sphere of influence, then it's time to take action. Scripture makes it clear that if we allow the works of Jezebel, we are equally sinful. And we know that from Revelation 2, verses 19 and 20. It says, I know your deeds, your love and your faith, your service and your perseverance, and that you are doing more than you did at first. Nevertheless, I have this against you. You tolerate that woman Jezebel who calls herself a prophet. 
and by her teaching she misleads my service, servants into sexual immorality and the eating of food sacrificed to idols. This is not a spirit to fight alone. One can learn how to resist Jezebel, however for some individuals the best choice may be to seek out a new church or work environment. The Jezebel spirit left unopposed will destroy ministries, churches, marriages, and business. Outside discernment through counseling and deliverance may be necessary to help you make that next step. I hope this blesses you today. Have a great week.